To a developing story this morning, a long-feared Russian invasion of Ukraine appears to be imminent, if not already underway. Overnight, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered forces into separatist regions of eastern Ukraine. Here in New York, the U.N. Security Council held a rare nighttime emergency meeting. CBS News' Kevin Rincon joins us live from the U.N. with the latest on that meeting. Kevin? Chris and Mary, a emotional and high stakes meeting here last night at the UN. We can tell you the ambassador to Ukraine uh, told the Security Council all member nations of the United Nations are under attack. He emphatically called on Russia to go back to the negotiating table. Ukraine unequivocally qualifies the recent actions by the Russian Federation as violation of sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. In a rare nighttime meeting, the U.N. Security Council met hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin moved thousands of his troops closer to the front lines in Ukraine in what he claims to be peacekeeping efforts. An invasion of Ukraine unleashes the forces of war, death and destruction on the people of Ukraine. The U.S. ambassador to the U.N. says half of Russia's 190,000 troops along the Ukraine border are ready to strike. An attack on Ukraine is an attack on the sovereignty of every U.N. member state and the U.N. charter, and that it will be met with swift and severe consequences. U.S. intelligence indicates President Putin has already ordered commanders to move into Ukraine. On Monday, he signed a decree recognizing the pro-Moscow regions of Donetsk and Luhansk as independent states, eight years after fighting erupted between Russia-backed separatists and Ukrainian forces. Clashes in those regions have been ongoing, raising concerns Russia could use that situation as a pretext for an attack on Ukraine. In an hour-long nationally televised address, Putin rejected Ukraine's sovereignty, slammed NATO's refusal to ban the country from ever joining, and called out the U.S. for having missile capabilities near Russia. That's like having a knife against our throat. Meanwhile, President Biden held emergency calls with Ukrainian President Zelensky, along with the leaders of Germany and France. Ukrainian President Zelensky says Ukraine is not afraid of anyone or anything. Ukrainian soldiers told CBS News they have orders only to fire back in self-defense. We are not afraid. We are on our own land, and we are ready to protect it. A summit between President Biden and Putin, arranged by French President Emmanuel Macron, could be in jeopardy. This is a brutal war of choice that Russia will be perpetrating. And later today, we are expecting to hear sanctions from the White House. They will roll those out in coordination with our allies and partners across the globe, a response to Russia's latest movements. We're live outside the U.N. Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. Kevin, thank you. 604 right now. As tensions rise in Ukraine, many local residents are desperately trying to get their loved ones out of the region. Immigration attorneys there fielding calls for legal help. The U.S. Embassy in Kiev has cut its staff and suspended counselor work. That means files are sitting on desks and may have to be restarted at other diplomatic posts. Lawyers say while there are many challenges, those looking to bring loved ones here should act now. It is critical now that people get the right advice and make the right moves. Uh, the other thing that helps a lot in these situations is to contact your local senator or congressman because they have contacts in the embassy. And a further complication there, the U.S. Embassy in Ukraine has now moved operations. Stay with CBS2 as we continue to monitor developments in Ukraine. Look for updates any time of the day at CBSNewYork.com.